Fuck back to the rock. That's place. That's it. There's another whale. Hey! There's a whale! Another whale has spawned. I don't need a whale. I need a royal convoy. There's only three things. I found the chest in like one of the early episodes. And I found the chest in one of the early episodes. And I did the whale. That was an endeavor. See, but I don't want, I don't want, I don't want that. I need, I need a, a royal convoy game. That's the last requirement rec rec for the achievement. Not a whale. Whale! Not a whale. I never watched that movie with him. Me and Josh, back when we were like besties, we, um, he was living with his mom. There was a, a movie. It, it was apparently a really funny, cheesy movie. It was like Kung Fu. It was one of those cheesy kung fu movies, and he, uh, we were going to watch that together, and we just never did. <laughs> and that whale just made me remember it, so dang it. Thank you, whale. Dude, fine. That's the way to do it, man. They're so good. And I think I'm, like, the only person that likes them. I think they're great. I think they'd be better if they weren't shaped like onions, because it's kind of hard. It's kind of a weird shape to put in your mouth. But, you know. Oh, speaking of that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I watched a movie last night and Derek just happened to be on the headset listening to all my thoughts on the the movie. The dating, or the wedding date, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever seen that? It's got the chick from Will and Grace and the guy from my best friend's wedding back in the day. Oh my god. Like, it was the best movie, but it, I, I knew it was one of those cheesy love movies. And I, so I knew what the ending was going to be before the ending happened. But dude, that movie was crazy. Like, he... She was dating this guy, then she broke up with him, and then she hired this a hooker, a guy hooker, to go with her to this uh, to this her sister's wedding. And when you got there, you learned that like the sister like was like cheated on. She was the one that the guy cheated on with, and it's like, oh no! And I'm like, oh yes! And it was just horrific. Like it was, and it ups and downs emotionally, and then they end up falling in love. It's like Pretty Woman all over again, and I was just like, blown away, dude! Absolutely blown away. It's like, geez. But I loved it to death, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely loved it to death. Of it, but I knew, I just knew it was coming. It had, it had Norrington in it from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. It had a. Uh, Oh my god, I had Ursula's mom from Georgia the Jungle. I haven't seen her since Georgia the Jungle. Had her in it, and you know, the girl from Will and Grace, and then the guy from My Best Friend's Wedding. But then it had someone else in it that I'd seen before. And I was like, oh, that's so and so. But I don't know. I mean, there may have been, that may only been the, the people I've seen. But anyway, great movie. I recommend you go watch it. Rated R for a reason. But it's it's so funny in the beginning because she's so quirky. Like I I feel so bad for her because she's such a girl, you know. And it's just like ah, uh, and she's trying to you know, be, you know, love and be happy and all this stuff. But it's it's such a good it's such a good movie. It's, it's so good. It's so good. Now if people actually really do live their lives like that, I would be surprised. That's the one thing I told Derek. I was like, I don't, I don't think people really live like this, Derek. But. I mean, because how many people have dads that are millionaires that they just have, like, a summer house that they can just go to and do whatever they want? Like, I, I don't, you know? Oh. A little bit out of the realm of realism. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this line of uh, collectibles. And, um, why not? I mean, dude, we, look, look, man, look at me. We have to do this at some point. And I would rather do it now. Or I'd rather work on it a little bit at a time rather than spend a million episodes. But I've already said that. I've already said that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, get closer. Get closer. Okay, stop, 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 stop the boat. Stop the boat. No, no. Get off. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, man. It's like an art, ladies and gentlemen. It is an art trying to, to park your boat close enough to the island before it pushes away so you can get on that rope and jump off. I, I have done this millions of times. Hundreds of thousands of times. And it's still difficult to do. <laughs> You just need to update this game, Ubisoft. You need to update it so that doesn't happen anymore. So the people that come after me, they won't have to deal with that. They can just, they can just like, they should be able to run aground on the island and just like, Yo, Mike, get, get, get the Animus Fragment. Go get that chest for me. And you'll keep 10%. Should be like that, but no, it's okay. Uh, Kenway can do it. That's part of the fun. There's something about walking on land after getting out of the water that makes you feel so... It's like that scene from... Um, uh, couples retreat 
when the the guy when the yoga instructor comes out of the the water and they're like, oh, who is that? Oh my gosh! I mean, he was cute. I mean, he was not attractive. I could see what women saw in him. I mean, he's a good looking guy. But um, okay, which way do you want to go, ladies? But yes, I see the whale. I don't need the whale though. I need one of these things to be blue. That's what I need. A blue one of those. So I think I think I want to go this way and come back down and go like this and then come back up and then we'll fast travel to Havana. Does that, does that sound like a plan? We'll just we'll just get rid of this whole half of the map right here, and then uh, we'll, we'll spend the next two episodes or the next episode 100% Havana. All we got to do there is um, the um, the stuff the the assassin contracts. That's all we got to do. Oh man, I want to. Dude, why is my screen? It's flat. Did you see that? I, I, I know because it's a capture card. What is that? It's like I don't know. This is cool, man. This is hip. Like, this still isn't old. This doesn't get old. I've done this four times. This does not get old. Just think like this giant area where you can just do whatever you want. Rum! Yes! Deal! Anyway. So, how have you been, ladies and gentlemen? Been doing good? Been rock and roll? Been having a good time? I hope so. Um, something else, something else has started happening to me. Um... Remember those couple of episodes? Oh, I was close! Remember those couple of episodes, ladies and gentlemen, where- Oh, oh I missed it. I completely missed it. Completely, completely missed it. Um, oh, wait, maybe not. I, I completely. Um, I went a couple episodes ago. I think it was during Assassin's Creed 2. So, a, lo a long time ago. When I was talking about, uh... Guitars, like there was a guitar I had found. Actually, it, it was like a t oh no, it was Assassin's Creed One. It was because I remember now. The um, yeah, there was a uh, that guitar I was talking about that uh, 2015 uh, uh, Les Paul uh, uh, quilted premium. You know what I'm talking about? That one, the one I was talking. Yeah, that one, that blue one that's really pretty. Uh, that one, it's like five thousand dollars. Uh, it's amazing how we, like, six months ago, we were doing Assassin's Creed, and we're talking about this, and now six months later, we're talking about the same thing, and we still haven't made a decision on it. Man. Well, I mean, I have made a decision, okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? I, it's still a, a choice between that Les Paul Standard and that Les Paul Custom and they're both good, but here, here's the thing. Now the things that turned me on about that guitar are now turning me off. Like the G-Force tuner thing. That makes it so much more difficult to change strings, and like, I don't... I wouldn't... I wouldn't need the tuner. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't need it. I appreciate it. Like, that's cool. That you can incorporate something like that, and you have the technology to make something like that happen. But, I don't need it, you know? And science could learn something from this, you know, with all your all your physics and all your gravity and theories of relativity. I don't need it! But anyway, whatever. Whatever! The, um... Oh, please. Ah! Fine, just, just run into the ground, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's probably the best way to do it. Just run right into the ground. Who, who cares? Right, it's your ship. What are they gonna do? They're gonna take the animus fragments away? Whatever. But anyway, that... Oh, man. Here's the thing. I'm completely torn. I love... I would actually... Oh, God dang it. I don't know. I don't know. I was gonna say something, and then I thought, No, Sam, you're lying. I was like, <laughs> Stop it! I, I really love the quilt top. That... When I saw that guitar, I, I felt something in my heart. I really love the quilt top look of that. And what I also love is the Burst Bucker Pro pickups. Those pickups, they rip, dog. Like I, I, I've never heard a better pickup in a passive pickup. I've never heard. I mean, I love my Dime Buckers in my in my Seymour or my Seymour Duncan Dime Buckers. I love those things in my Dean. But dude, these Burst Bucker Pros, these are just. I mean, these aren't. I mean, I'm sure they're special, but. My pickups are named after a guitar player. These are like stock pickups. And it's like, what? And, man, I just, the way the guitar looks. And, you know, there was a guy I used to be friends with in high school. His name was Chris. We were talking about guitars. And um, he said, it's not about how the guitar looks, it's about how it plays. And that really had an influence on me. And I'm like, you're absolutely right. 
but I think you should be attracted to the guitar you play. Same goes for the women, and I've, you know, that's one thing I've been, I've had a trouble with my whole life, is, uh, keeping attraction to the people I was with. Or, actually, no, let's get, let's get completely real, we've already upset a lot of people. Why, why not just do, do the ex-girlfriends, too? Um, I've always had a trouble with the attraction. There's no way! There's no way! You were right on the, the coast right there. Birds and I ran, I ran so far. Okay, God dang it! Your your mind, your mind, Sam, your mind. The um, <laughs> it wasn't even seagulls. It was flamingos <laughs> or flamingos rather. Look, they're all they're all around here. Can I kill one? Come here! I'm having flamingo tonight. Where is it? Oh, I have a perfect chance to come on, come on, come on, come on, bird, bird. Oh, yo. Did that bounce off? Did that... Did that bounce off the sky? Um... But anyway, I just... I, uh, the... If there would be a... Le a Les Paul Custom with an Everty fretboard and Burst Bucker Pro pickups in it, then wouldn't even... Wouldn't even think about wanting the, uh, that quilt top. I would sacrifice that quilt top finish for that kind of guitar. Because that, that's really the only thing that attracted me to that 2015 standard. Is that, is that, well, besides the quilt top, the quilt top, is, as far as playability goes, is that Ebony Fretboard and those Burst Bucker Pros. Now, if you haven't heard any Burst Bucker Pros, there's something about these things. It's like they grab the strings and saturate it in gain and distortion, and it's so... Real, it's got so much guts to it. I, that's always a play. It's got so much guts to it. These burst bucker, I don't know what it is about those pickups, but man, but anyway, amazing, beautiful. And you know, I, I, I got nothing against like the, the 57 reissue pickups. You know, I got nothing against those. They're, those are great pickups, especially if you're going for that sound, you know. But I'm not going for that sound, okay? I'm a very modern guitar player, but I, I but I don't, I don't have modern technique if that makes any sense. I have archaic technique, but I play modernly, if that makes any sense. Uh, so I want, I definitely want to pick up that's on the more gainy side, the more distorted side of, of that, and those Burst Bucker Pros are, are definitely that. But, you know, and that's the thing, like, I, I, customs don't have, it's like, oh Sam, why don't you just put Burst Bucker Pros in the custom? Well, that's always an option, but I heard, I heard, ladies and gentlemen, that... When a Les Paul is designed, it is designed with those pickups that are in it. It is, it's, I, I heard, the, the, the word was balanced, or something like that. It was designed, it was balanced with those pickups in, in mind. Like, that, that way it wasn't too much of this or too much of that. It was meant to sound the way it sounds with those pickups. So, taking, taking those pickups out and putting other pickups in, it's going to, change it. I mean, of course it's going to change the sound, obviously, but I'm talking about, I'm worried it's going to falter the overall sound of the guitar, and this guy better get out of the way. He, I put my blinker on, dude! But, um, yeah, it's just one of those things, ladies and gentlemen. I, if I could find a Les Paul Custom with empty fretboard and Burst, Burst Bucker Pros, we'd be good to go. But see, that, that's, that's the problem. That's, that's the problem. I, they don't... Gibson doesn't make Les Pauls anymore with ebony fretboards. Strictly mahogany and, like, stained mahogany. And, you know, of course, they're always going to have rosewood. But I want an ebony. I want an ebony fretboard. And see, that that's what's going to be the problem. That Gibson... Oh, God, if I run into another island, I swear. Uh... Just bring them back. I realize that maybe it's a problem. Maybe you're a little low on the, the ebony. I don't know. But maybe you should just do what it takes to bring them back. Start thinking about the guitar player and what they want. Not what's going to make you the most money. But anyway. I don't mean to I don't mean to take it out on you, Gibson. But you're, you are putting me in a rough position. Okay. And I don't want a Zach Wilde custom. I, I mean, I love his guitars. You know, they've got EMGs in them. They sound great. I don't want it though. I, I, I just, I just want, I want what I want. You know, and may, maybe, you know what? May, maybe, I tell you what, I tell you what, man. Maybe uh, I just, 
making the music become a guitar god. And then they'll be like, hey, we'll make a custom guitar just for you. And then, oh god, then I, I, I almost want to say no. If they do that, I just want to say no. It's like, no, do you know how hard, you know how bad I wanted one of your guitars that you just didn't have? You just freaking you went on this freaking hunger strike for ebony fretboards. I'm like, god dang it, now I can't get what I want. But then again, ladies and gentlemen, here's, here's the other thing. I really love my Razorback. Now that thing is a monster. The only thing I like about it, you know, is the shape, but, I mean, what can you do? It still sounds amazing, right? And, you know, it's got a Floyd Rose on it. Um, so, I can't, you know, part part of me, now this is where the Sam really starts to come. Part of me wants to go, screw it, I don't, I don't have the time or the money to give to Gibson on a guitar that I'm not gonna, it's not exactly what I want. I don't, I don't have time to do that. You know what I mean? Like, sorry, Gibson. I mean, I want to. Like, I want to give you a lot of money and get the guitar of my dreams. But if it's going to be this difficult, I just want to stick with with my my Razorback. That thing sounds amazing. I'm used to it. It's got an it, it has an ebony fretboard, and I. You know what I mean? You see what I mean? Like, it's is it really worth all the trouble if I'm not even going to get what I want? That's the biggest problem. And I, just, I don't want to think of myself as a selfish person. This is a guitar. This is this is the reason for everything for me. You know, this isn't just like some, oh, I want this car with this color, and I want the seats to be leather, and I want beats, and you know, it's not like that. This is a guitar. This is a part of me. And I don't think it's selfish or arrogant or anything. If I want what I want, like, <laughs> it's my guitar. It's my money, first of all. I'm going to be the one playing it. I want what I want. That's all I'm saying. You know, that's, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm just saying, this is what I want in a guitar. And at one point, these things were abundant. Like, right now, it seems like every Les Paul standard, why is my screen doing that? I don't know. Every Les Paul standard now in 2008 has burst bucker pros in it so we've got an abundance of bucker pros and every custom before like 2010 2011 ish had an ebony fretboard so these things were abundant before what's the problem why can't we just just have something for me <laughs> why, why is it so hard to find an ebony? i don't know i don't know but i tell you what ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna have to make it happen. Be quite honest with you. What's that? What's that? I can't see. Fog. Fog. Ahead. There's fog. There's fog. So, so part of me is just like you know what? It's not worth it. Whenever you make it in music, go, just go ahead and buy the quilt top and a custom. Just know you have both. You know. Part of me wants to do that, but then a part of me is like you know, Sam. If you were to get one of these guitars now. You would never need another guitar, and that's beautiful, because it, you'd have your dream guitar. You wouldn't want anything else. Well, it's not that you wouldn't need it. I, I think I still would need a, uh, a Fender Telecaster for, like, country stuff, but as far as want goes, I, w I wouldn't want anything else. Like, if I were to have one, uh, you know, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Look, I, like, three times in a row, I was able to do that. Heck, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I realize there was time. I thank you for watching. It's been my absolute pleasure to bring this to you. Even if it is just boring collecting stuff and talking about stuff that doesn't even have to do with the game, I would like to thank you for watching. It's been my absolute pleasure. Keep it real. Keep doing you. We're going to go ahead and finish up the the rest of the these this collecting in this section in the next episode see we only got we only got three more things and i, I see i still see no uh, come on give me another community thing oh it's probably only gonna last for seven hours oh that sucks probably not gonna get that today then i don't know well we are gonna go ahead and get the rest of the stuff probably what i might do i think i'm gonna fast travel here and go north and grab that or i'll probably just finish the rest of that off uh I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I don't know. Actually, no. I'm going to fast travel here, and then I'm going to do a, a loop de loop. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for watching. Keep it real. Keep doing you. And I will see you in the next episode. We're going to finish... Well, no, there's not really much to talk about. Uh, it's just... It's just an awkward situation. It's... It's... I just... Like, I just... I just... Just want the guitar I want, you know? That's it. That's it. That's all I want. I don't want... 
like I didn't ask for a, a G Force tuner. I didn't ask for a zero fret nut. I didn't ask for a, a AAA finish. I just wanted a guitar that sounded good and looked good, and I found it. But it came with a lot of bells and whistles I don't want. So if I, you know, I could just remove those. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, it just seems overkill. It seems overkill, and it is. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Keep it. I'll see you in the next episode. And peace.